Here are 20 tips for video editors in 2024 that if you follow them, you have the greatest chance for success. But if you ignore them, you might be in for a little bit of trouble. Tip number one is adapting to emerging technologies. AI is completely revolutionizing the realm of video editing by introducing automation to workflows that were normally human powered. Staying updated to these advancements is extremely crucial as failing to do so could result in you being completely outpaced by your colleagues in the realm of productivity and efficiency. Tip two, focus on storytelling, not just your technical skills. A dazzling transition may catch the eye and cause someone to actually click on your video, but it's the power of storytelling that actually gets them to stay and actually remember it. Tip number three is developing an online audience. Growing a, say, YouTube audience is arguably the smartest marketing tactic that you could do today for any video editing business. Tip number four, focus on creating systems that involve multiple people for accomplishing repeatable tasks rather than trying to do everything by yourself. The creation of each tutorial on our channel requires a system of at least five people working in conjunction with each other in order to make it work. Tip number five is it's finally time to learn those keyboard shortcuts. Don't be that person. All that mouse clicking makes you look weird and it really slows down your editing workflow. Tip number six, make sure that all of your software is updated. I don't care what people say, especially if you're using the Adobe Suite, if you're using Premiere Pro or After Effects, make sure that they are all on the latest update. Tip number seven, easy. Invest in a quality computer before you invest in a quality camera. Tip number eight, is learn audio mixing on a pro level. It's even more important than video editing. While audiences may be able to forgive subpar visuals, poor audio quality is almost always unforgivable. Tip number nine is make sure that you have a trusted feedback buddy that will actually tell you when your work sucks because most people will lie to you. Next tip guys is you gotta finally learn color correction and color grading. And don't color in Premiere Pro guys, you gotta color only in DaVinci Resolve. Next tip is to prioritize time management. Make sure that you have a no YouTube and no music rule when you're video editing, and make sure that you keep within a nine to five work day. Set specific deadlines to shoot for and have a no all-nighters rule for this entire year of 2024. Your family misses you and you need to stop procrastinating. One way that I prioritize time management is I use templates. And the best place to get templates is Envato Elements. I personally call it the Netflix for video editors because it's a subscription service with a massive library that contains literally the most useful video editing assets that would literally blow any video editor's mind. It's actually funny because I actually see people talk about elements all the time in YouTube ads just like this, but they don't ever show any of my top favorite products that are actually on the site. I've downloaded probably a couple hundred assets from Elements just this month. And guess what? You can see a list of all my favorite effects packs in the link below. They are amazing, they're incredible, and they're definitely worth signing up for Elements just to use them. Elements is only one price once a month for literally unlimited downloads, and you can get a ridiculous discount with my link in the description. Check it out. Next tip is to finally learn After Effects. And if you've learned After Effects, then learn Blender. While you've been sitting there stagnant in your skills, you have these 13 year olds with, trust me, infinite amounts of spare time that have been just hard at work harnessing their skills in these very pieces of software, completely changing the game and setting a new pace in the whole industry. The next tip is you need to network. And I'm not talking about just with future clients. You need to actually network with other videographers. They might actually ask you for help with one of their future projects, or they may actually send you work because they're just too busy. Tip 15 guys is just don't give up. This is gonna be a very challenging year, but I feel like this challenge for a lot of reasons will thin the herd of your competitors. Stick it out and you might find yourself among a smaller group of more elite competitors. Tip 16 is potentially look at an alternative business model for your business. I recently watched a video about a solo designer who productized his design business and now makes over 1 million per year. I'll link that video in the description, but I think it's time for you to start thinking about new ways that you can do business and maybe even expanding some of the services that you provide. Tip 17 is learning how to balance creativity with your client's actual needs. While creativity is key, your ability to align your vision with your client's sexual expectations is crucial in operating a sustainable and professional video business. And don't be a crybaby once you get notes from your client in Frame.io. You've gotta learn how to practice emotional intelligence. Regarding tip 18, it's essential that you perfect your pre-production process. If you're getting bogged down in post-production with endless client notes, 
50% of the time, guys, it's actually your fault. You probably don't have a thorough enough pre-production process that's managing client expectations to begin with so that by the time you get to post-production, you and your client are actually not on the same page. This is something that you gotta fix. Tip 19, guys, is actually create a business. I'm talking about an actual business. You need to create either a corporation or an LLC. What that will do is it'll save you legally and it'll help you a ton when it comes to tax time. The last tip for you guys is make sure that you pay your taxes. Save a little bit of money out of every paycheck for the government. And most importantly, hire a great accountant at the end of the year to save you as much money as possible. And accountants aren't actually as expensive as you may think. That's it, guys.